can take. But I, yeah, I, I wasn't aware it was happening, I've got to say. Well, so, I, well this well, is the thing. This is why we're talking about it. I, I mm. had no idea either until I saw this little robocopter thing. Well, that's my question to you, Wendy. How, what does it look like? Because I've been on balconies enjoying lovely cocktails and I worry that maybe I've seen one and imagined it. <laughs> <laughs> you thought it with the introduction of the theme following this announcement, transmission on Channel 10 will commence. Come on up to 10. You'll enjoy the view. ATV Channel O. August the 1st, 1964, 7.56. Channel O is now part of the life of Melbourne and the past that has made us. Channel O. We are broadcasting a picture and sound so that you may adjust your television receiver for this new channel in the Melbourne area. If you are not receiving a clear picture, we suggest you call your serviceman. bring you live coverage of the National Memorial Service for Nelson Mandela. There'll be speeches from South African President Jacob Zuma, as well as leaders from around the world, including the US President Barack Obama. Coverage begins on News 24 at 8 o'clock tonight, Australian Eastern Daylight Time. And of course, we'll have highlights for you tomorrow morning on ABC News Breakfast as well. Now, stay with us on ABC News Breakfast. We can say goodbye to our viewers on Australian Network. We can also say goodbye forever to our viewers <laughs> in the Greater Melbourne area watching us on Analog TV because ooh, in about two and a half minutes you're being switched off for good unless you have a... That's a hint of what's to come. <laughs> <laughs> it's not good, is it? So go and get a digital set-top box or a digital TV, otherwise you'll miss our smiling faces. I don't know, it was nice and peaceful for a few seconds there. It's worth considering. Spano style. <laughs> As the world pays its respects to the life of Nelson Mandela, join ABC News 24 to honour the icon who, in death, is once more uniting the globe. Tonight, commemorate his achievements at the official memorial service in Johannesburg. Then on Sunday, join us for one of the largest state funerals the world has seen. For complete live coverage of these major events, turn to ABC News 24. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please be upstanding? I, Stephen Fry, do solemnly declare... He's been given the keys, but what does it mean? I want to penetrate the City of London. It's both ancient and modern, and it's very exciting. Join Stephen Fry on a unique tour of the City of London as he unlocks the city's quirks, history and mysteries. It's all about money, it's all about trade. It's an absolute miracle. Stephen Fry's Key to the City, tonight, 8.30, ABC One. On the next opening shot, Doc. I held on to it for 22 years with not telling anybody. There are those who've experienced it. My secret shame, I guess. And those who've been kept in the dark. Why did they do that? How did they do that? How could I not have seen? But why does abuse happen in the first place? I would tell myself that if she didn't remember it, it wouldn't hurt her. Brave young filmmakers tackling the tough and the taboo. What kind of person does that? Opening shots, Our Little Secret. Tomorrow on ABC2. Everything that's happening. People are quite hot angry. And everything that's not. I'm doubtful that we're actually being told the truth. This is Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day! 
hell if it's Groundhog Day. They might be seeing until next Christmas or the Christmas <laughs> after Mighty Day. When the message is murky. It's been a complete disaster politically for the government. Freshen it up with a different approach. Changing its rhetoric a little bit and experimenting with a few different <laughs> positions. The Drum, weeknights, ABC News 24. Holden puts its case to the Productivity Commission for more government subsidies. This doesn't have to be uh, a moment for Holden. What we do need to do is to make the Australian economy more competitive. A man to face court over the murder of a couple in their Melbourne home. Security tight as world leaders arrive in South Africa to honour Nelson Mandela. This is an occasion to celebrate a great life as well as to mourn the passing of the father of modern South Africa. And next up, Perth, Australia plans to take back the ashes on the bouncy wacker pitch. Good morning and welcome back to ABC News Breakfast. I'm Michael Rowland. And I'm Virginia Trioli and this is our top story today. Holden's Managing Director Mike Devereaux is appearing before the Productivity Commission in Melbourne to put his case for continued government assistance. The Holden chief won't be making any announcement on the car maker's future, but there has been growing speculation that Holden is planning to shut its Australian operations by 2016. Our political reporter Andrew Green... redundancy too. It means I've got a bit of time to get back on my feet and plan my next move. I might even try something different. Not bad at all. Virgin income protection means we can pay the bills and I'm still looking after my family. That's my real job anyway. Hmm. Whatever path you choose, Virgin Income Protection covers over 1,000 jobs. So put Virgin to work for your family. Call 13 40 49. Virgin Income Protection provides cover for day-to-day -day expenses if you're unable to work due to sickness or injury. Unlike most other insurers, it also provides optional cover for involuntary redundancy. Applying is easy and cover for over 1,000 jobs starts from a dollar a day. Call 13 40 49. Thanks to Virgin Income Protection, when I lost my job, my family didn't need rescuing. But I might. Don't let a setback like sickness, injury or redundancy become a step back for your family. See how you and Virgin Income Protection could be good together. Call 13 40 49. Ever notice how messes add up? That's why I designed Mr Muscle Touch Up Cleaner. It cleans lots of messes fast. Dab it. Clean it. Done. It's a one-handed clean that stays out. And it kills 99.9% .9 of germs. It gets the job done fast, so you keep moving. Try the quick cleaning of Mr. Muscle Touch-Up Cleaner. Welcome back to Studio 10. It is now time for our daily visit to our friends at, Le Ho at the Hoopla. And Editor-in-Chief uh, <laughs> Wendy Harmer joins us now. Hi, Wendy. Today Hello. we're talking drones. Well, we are. I mean, I guess a lot of us know about the controversy around military drones uh, being used to kill uh, operatives in places like Iraq and Afghanistan. But didn't you know that um, unarmed drones, obviously, are flying around your neighbourhood with cameras on them? Uh, I saw one off the balcony at our place the other day, quite a way away, but kind of about eye level, because we live on the side of the hill, and there was two blokes down the end of the street operating this thing. I thought, what's that about? Anyway, I find out that there are about 70 private companies in Sydney who are allowed to operate drones, including uh, real estate agents who can whiz up and take pictures of your house. I'm, I'm just worried about the privacy aspect, really. Yeah, I'm not it's sure. Worrying. When you said drones, I thought you were talking about Joe Hildebrand. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. When, when, when you said today we're talking drones, I thought speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really think it is affecting privacy, though? Because obviously, um, with with these types of um, machines, uh, you know, fly restrictions 
apply. Well, there are, you see, but not a lot of and the people know where to complain. Yeah. And um, I think it's a time that we had a look at these and a regulation of these new little things. You know, they're starting to use them very um, uh, um, much in places like Shanghai and uh, overseas to avoid the traffic to make deliveries. So soon enough, there'll be an Amazon, there'll be a drone rather dropping either an Amazon book or a Domino's pizza on you. <laughs> <laughs> seems that seems reasonable. What do you think? Well, it's interesting because I mean, Google Maps, for example, had all the controversy mm. about their invasion of privacy. Yeah. I'm just wondering um, how many people are quietly enjoying their backyards, you know, doing lying by the pool <laughs> naked, and then suddenly something <laughs> comes overhead. You know, I think it's. I mean, there needs to be some guidelines, obviously, about this and you know, what they can take. But I, yeah, I, I wasn't aware it was happening. I've got to say. Well, well this well, is the thing. This is why we're talking about it. I, I mm. had no idea either until I saw this little robocopter thing. Well, that's my question to you, Wendy. How, what does it look like? Because I've been on balconies enjoying lovely cocktails and I worry that maybe I've seen one and imagined it. <laughs> <laughs> you thought it was 